Hello, and welcome to another tip on Maximo. I'm your host, Chris Winston. Today, we begin a series on Start Center Design, beginning with the templates, and then on to the portlets themselves, including for today the report list portlet. The next sessions will go into the design of additional portlets, starting out with favorites, quick insert, workflow inbox, and the bulletin board. As a reminder, if you have any specific topics you wish covered, please send them in an email to media at projectech.com. You will find the Start Center template design tools just below the navigation bar, right justified on your Start Center. They're presented here for easy reference and provide you with the abilities to update your Start Center, uh, refresh the Start Center from the database, and this will of course erase any changes you've done locally, but it'll take you back to the original uh, format for that particular template. Uh, additionally, you'll be able to use the display settings tool to allow you to alter which Star Center appears first, uh, as well as uh, which Star Centers you would actually wish to display, assuming you have access to more than one. You can also create a new template as well as modify an existing template uh, that's in the database. The change layout, uh, change content button is what you'll primarily use to edit the template you're currently viewing and allow you to remove and reposition the portlets. Lastly, we'll take a look at actual portlet design again beginning today with uh, the report list and please remember it's highly recommended that anything you put on the report list uh, portlet is a report that has uh, runtime parameters and or uh, queries or where clause built into the report thus uh, allowing you to consolidate and reg and rec control the number of records you actually have displayed uh, in the report and let's take a look at Maximo. So here we have a typical start center uh, and again in this case you have access to uh, multiple templates uh, as we've seen before in the previous session. Uh, in this case let's say for example for whatever reason you need to refresh uh, the operations managers template from the database you can just choose update start center you do get the option and you will get a message reminding you you sure you want to update this You'll take what you have, get rid of it, and refresh it for whatever is in the database. And then that'll bring that on to your Start Center. Um, the display settings will allow you to, uh, you may choose to display an additional Start Center. Uh, and let's say, for example, you choose the maintenance Start Center that you want to have first. Right now, they appear in alphabetical order until you choose a default. And that'll immediately uh, become your first Start Center tab and moves it over directly. And then the rest just appear again alphabetically. That's right. Uh, moving on, let's say we want to go ahead and we'll just for sake of reference, we're going to go ahead and build and create a template. And we're just going to say this is for demonstration. And we'll use this throughout. We'll finish. Nothing on it. So just going ahead and save it, saving the template into the database. So now it's out there and available. And then we come back to modify an existing template, and then we'll see that it is now on the list, showing created today. And that's where we can go ahead and modify it. And in this case, uh, let's go ahead and start out with changing the layout content. This is where we come on to decide uh, the view narrow wide equal width or wide narrow as well as what's going to appear on the left and right hand sides of the screen so we'll start off with just the left side we're going to go ahead and add the report list portlet we're going to finish up comes out of course no data found because we have not put anything onto this particular portlet so we'll go a little further into the design of the actual portlet. 
and from here and with virtually all of the uh, report or the portlets that are available the design format is pretty much the same you come in to design it you'll select from avail available values in the database and of course within security and from here we can choose I'm not going to go through all these reports let's see what I want another one on the boiler and another one on hierarchy so I'm going to use this to filter my list to a much smaller list ah good fits on the screen and I want let's see the boiler report which is a QBR and let's go with location hierarchy I think that's the one we need and we'll go ahead and use those now what you'll find very often uh, with the uh, individual portlets on the screen as well as the topics in each portlet in many cases you have a choice of displaying what order you want the uh, selections to actually appear in so we're going to change these we'll hit finish and then location hierarchy will be our first report and then from here as I mentioned before what you want to do is you want to make sure that the reports that you set up within the report list portlet are either reports that have uh, runtime parameters such as these. Uh, let's see, site system and submit. And then they'll run just like a normal report and producing your output. And you have all the normal controls that are available. Uh, this is just like running a report from the application again because you have the parameters uh, at runtime that you're able to enter. Uh, additionally in this case a query based report which has a query built into it and we'll see that when we actually run a report and take a look at it that report shows up at the bottom or excuse me that query shows up at the bottom. So when we submit it this report runs uh, in this case open and approved uh, non-PM work on the boiler at the Bedford site and it's looks like it's grouped by work type and here we have our where clause that is actually built into uh, the report so as work orders change status in and out uh, of the matching criteria then this report changes to represent uh, additional work orders that fill the criteria and work orders are removed for those that no longer fill the criteria so again with the report list just make sure the reports that you use are built on and utilize uh, runtime parameters or have a query uh, where clause built into them yeah, or both uh, thanks very much and again we'll, you have specific topics uh, media at projectech.com and next time up we'll dig more into uh, a few more portlet designs thank you